98.5 KLUC. What's happening, Las Vegas? My name is AD, and tonight we have a very, very special guest in studio. One of the the Running Rebels' very own Uche. What's going on, brother? Nothing much, man. How you doing? I'm chilling, man. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know how to pronounce your last name. I never have. Um, can you? Can you? I'm like, not, not, not to sound ignorant. I really just yeah. don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, it's Ofable. Ofable. Yeah, G sound. Ofable. Yeah. Okay. I have. A, I have a friend. Uh, his name is uh, Samto Odinibo, uh-huh. and the G is silent. And his name is what? Yeah, I think that's a Nigerian thing. Okay. Yeah. That, he's the, he's Nigerian. Okay. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna just uh, keep it at Uche. Is that cool? Yeah, that's cool. All right. Quick. Uh, <laughs> quick background. So, uh, you know, I uh, I used to I used to live in San Antonio, and uh, I, well, I was in San Antonio for about like four or five years throughout my high school years, and. Um, um, being in high school, when I got there, you know what I'm saying, San Antonio is a different level of basketball than, than Ohio, for real. Yeah. Um, so I got down there, you know what I'm saying. I went to the tryouts my junior year, and I, sh- I, sh- I shortly realized I was not gonna make it. <laughs> this is this is a this is a, this is a long story long. Uh, anyways, I became good friends with a couple of the basketball players, and then like all you you know you you you, you hear a lot of names. And when I'm in high school, I'm a junior in high school. I start hearing certain names, and your name used to come up all the time. No joke. Like so, I'm like I'm like who is this? And then hanging out with uh, Ryan Coy all the time, and you were Justin's friend. Finally met you. I'm like oh this is the dude y'all was talking about you have you have uh, you have been talked about as far as basketball is concerned for a long time um you've had a a, a crazy journey yeah. um by the way i i uh, haven't seen you for like nine years so this is very this is very yeah. like surreal to me like I, before we even jump into it i want to say uh just as like a fan and as a uh you're, you're i'm proud of you man like you you, you uh you seem to be be very positive on a positive path um, and uh, and I, re- I respect that and I salute that. Um, diving into your journey, I mean, from high school you went to Southern Methodist, mm-hmm. correct? Yeah. Uh, then you went to University of San Francisco, yeah. and now you're at UNLV. Uh, explain the journey a little bit for the people, man. What like what what happened there? What's up? Man, it's been a long journey, but uh, you know, starting off at high school, you know, I went to SMU. Uh, Larry Brown was a the coach there, and I thought, you know, Larry Brown, you know, very healthy and coach, coach one of my favorite players, you know, um, I was in the NBA, so. You know, I went there, you know, thinking of positive, uh, you know, as a, I went there young-minded. Uh, you know, as my freshman year, you know, I had a lot of struggles there. And so, you know, it didn't quite work out there, you know, just because, you know, just my immaturity level at that point. Uh, decided to move on with the University of San Francisco, coached by a uh, dude named Rex Walters. Uh, played in the league, played at Kansas a couple of years. You know, learned some great things there. Uh, graduated early. Um, wow. You know, decided. Wait, so you already have your bachelor's? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so now, so now, okay, my fault. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, uh, graduated early, you know, decided to play, come back, you know, to the big stage of basketball, you know, play against, you know, the top teams in the country. And then what do you have your, uh, what do you have your degree in? Uh, advertising and marketing. Very smart. Okay. And now what are you, uh, are you uh, in the master's program here at UNLV? Yeah. Or? And what's my Okay. You, got, you, you nice up here, man. I see I'm what I'm talking about. Very positive out here in these streets, man. I'm trying. Uh, very good representation of, uh, of, uh, of, of who we need to, you know, we need to follow. Um, so definitely. Uh, how are you enjoying Las Vegas thus far? Man, I love Las Vegas. Uh, you know, I mean, I've been here, of course, for AU basketball, you know, during the summertime. But, you know, it really doesn't do it justice. Uh, you know, there's just a lot, you know, that Vegas has to offer, you know, when you're like, so local here, you know. Right. Uh, Kind of figured out like the strip is kind of like for you know for people come in and visit them but you know tourists yeah the people here has been so cool to me you know the fans you know if you're no v you know the coaching staff and i just love like you know every moment of it you know being here so you know i'm just thankful and blessed there you go blessed is a key word right there um now i i moved out here a couple years ago and i actually moved out here in june um which was like the dumbest thing in the world i know <laughs> i know you came out here this past may i believe yeah um it's a different level of, of hot out here mm. it's like hell yeah it's- um, but you're also from San Antonio, yeah. where it's also very hot. Now, a lot of people complain about the humidity. Mm-hmm. Is, is, is there, do you, do you have a preference if you had, like, is this hotter than San Antonio or is San Antonio hotter than Vegas? I mean, it's two different levels of heat. Uh, <laughs> definitely. Uh, San Antonio during the day, you know, it's, uh, it's, when you're outside, you know, you use a sweat night here. Beating you know, down on you. Bad. But, you know, one thing I do prefer about San Antonio over Vegas, uh, in terms of, like the hot weather is, you know, at least at nighttime it cools down. But here in Vegas, man, it, yeah, no, got no mercy on you. Not at all. Not at got all. Got no mercy on you, but it took me time to adjust. I ain't gonna lie to you. Had to be inside most of the time. Does it feel good right now? Is, is it cool right oh, now? Oh, perfect right now. Yes, yeah, perfect right now. I like the weather right now. Um, now, uh, all right, as far as after, after, after you know V, mm-hmm. are you, is, is the league in the in the mindset overseas? Are you done with basketball? What are your What are your thoughts? What are your no, goals? No, uh, definitely want to play in the league. Okay. Uh, then afterwards, you know, that professionally, you know, overseas, you know, wherever basketball takes me. You know, 
feel like I gotta get out of my system first for me to be completely done with it. Uh, but you know, wherever the basketball takes me, uh, and then after I'm done playing basketball, you know, I wanna get back and be a coach. You know? I like that. And who knows, maybe one day, you know, in the future, you know, I might be a coach for you know, the, you never know. That would be super live. That would, that would be lit, existence. though. existence. Speak it out right now. Hey, I'm going to be the coach of UNLV Running Rebels. Hey, I love it. I love How about the Spurs, man? I love the Spurs, you know, the great championship team, you know, the pop, you know, Tim Duncan, the greats, you know, the Melvin, Tony Parker, David Robinson, you know. You know, just, um, they're like a great foundation of basketball, you know, how it's laid down. Very fundamental. They're a different, uh, different type of team than most teams in the league, you know, they share the ball, you know. They really don't care who gets the credit, and so that's why I feel like they win a lot of championships. You know, they're not a big organization, you know, like right. the Lakers, you know, the Bulls, or the Celtics. But, you know, they get the job done. Five championships, you know, arguably one of the greatest uh, power forwards ever played the game. So, agreed. I mean, it is. Is it? This might be a dumb question. Is that who you grew up like? That that was your favorite team? Yeah. Okay. Favorite team. Uh, but also, you know, wherever Tracy McGrady was. Okay. Now, Ooh. And I hear that a lot. Yeah. But T Mac was. T Mac was my favorite player, you know, of all time. You know, I used to, uh, as a little kid, I used to do a little lazy eye like this, you know, <laughs> go around and shoot the ball. Uh, I think my most memorable game of T Mac. Actually, he was playing against the Spurs, and it was in Houston. Uh, wow. And I was watching with my parents, you know. Uh, I was a big T Mac fan, so, you know, they gave me, you know, all kinds of, you know, hell about that. Like, oh, yeah, T Mac going down. And, uh, end up scoring 13 points in 35 seconds. You know? Oh, yeah. I do remember that. Yeah. yeah, 13 points in 35 seconds. You know, and they won the game. And it was just from then on. It's just he's always been, you know, my favorite player. Do you think if he didn't, if he didn't get hurt, that he could have, he could have been like aligned with Kobe a little bit, or in terms of scoring? Okay. You know, definitely. I felt like uh, I think before he got hurt when he was in Orlando, he was like leading the NBA in you know scoring titles. You know, him and Kobe was going back at it. Um, I can't really say he would have been better than Kobe because you know Kobe's mindset puts him on a on a whole different level. And on top of that, you know, once you play with players like Shaq, you know, and, and the Lakers gonna get players. So I don't know if T Mac would have had the support system as uh, as Kobe, but I think so. Like offensively, on that standpoint, they would have been neck and neck. I like that. Yeah. I, I remember my my like like best T Mac uh, memory was when uh, in the All Star game he threw it off the glass. Oh you know, yeah, it happened like in the All Star game yeah before. So when it happened, I was just super live. Like, yeah man, T Mac T Mac used to be that guy man. Definitely. Uh, did you have the shoes? Definitely. Had you had had to have the T Mac. The T Mac shoes, you know the look, you know the the hesitation pull up, you know all that was in the repertoire. I had to. <laughs> I like that uh, in the repertoire. Very smooth. <laughs> Yo, you smooth out here, man. Don't try to fool the people. Uh, what is your What is your best basketball memory of you? Your best, like as far as your career thus far, or do you have? One? Can you break it down? I think I got. I think I got two. Uh, actually, it might be three. three. I only get okay, three. That's good. That's all right. Good. Uh, first time I ever dunked a basketball was seventh grade. Uh, yeah, seventh grade, summer going to eighth grade. Uh, I don't know, just tried it one time and actually went in. Uh, <laughs> and of course, nobody was around. So I right. told my brother they didn't believe me. No uh, witnesses. Tried it again, wasn't really getting it the same way. But, uh, you know, I just, that's one thing I always like look back and man, seventh grade. Uh, second memory, uh, probably, I want to say my first dunk in the game was eighth grade. Eighth grade going to summer, uh, playing AU basketball. Off a of pole hop and I dunk it the whole the whole gym went crazy. And nuts. Yeah, so that's a that's a great memory of mine. And uh probably the last last one probably has to be when um sophomore year high school playing against Warren. Okay. Matter of fact against Prince and all them. Uh purple team, man. Yeah, you know that's the rivals. Uh Go Steve. So, yeah. <laughs> sophomore year, uh jumped over a dude. And sophomore year high school? Sophomore year high school, jumped over a dude, dunked it. And, uh, it. I don't even know how to act. <laughs> Coach gave me hell about it, you know, at halftime. Act like you've been there before. In my mind, I ain't never really been there before. <laughs> what you want me to do? Like, yeah. Yeah, I'll be, I'll, I don't know what I'm yeah. super lit, man. Yeah, but I had some great man. They all in San Antonio, so. Oh. See, yeah, see, you, you got to get back to the tone, man. You see, you go, go back every summer. Every summer, see family, uh, see some friends, you know, you know, just be back at home, you know, stay grounded, right? Yeah. Do you notice like some similarities between San Antonio and here in Vegas, like as far as like food, culture, like, or like, I noticed, I noticed something out here, like they both have like subdivisions as far as housing. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know, like back in San Antonio, you had like the West Creek, so you had the Jews, yeah. Right? And like I feel like I see a lot of different subdivisions out here too. Yeah, that. definitely the housing, definitely is for sure. Um, I feel like the the tempo pace, like how people move around here, you know, it's kind of same way as San Antonio, you know, everybody. And then uh, 
the you know, generosity of people I see out here is on some of the same time. Though, so, right. I mean, it's, uh, I feel like that's a, a lot of reasons why, you know, I like it out here and the people out here, because I'm just, I've been so used to, you know, growing up in San Antonio. Definitely. And I know you mentioned your brother, your, uh, you, I don't know how, if you have multiple brothers, but I remember you, I know there's like a certain brother that played college ball as well. Yeah. Texas Tech. Yeah, two brothers, yeah. Okay. Yeah. One went to Texas Tech, played with Bobby Knight, the other one went to SMU, played with Matt Doherty. So yeah. yeah, so you were you were back, you were you like you had to like you had to step up a step oh, yeah. to the plate. Definitely, you know, I had two of the sisters play basketball oh. too. Yeah. And your dad was a soccer player. Dad was a soccer player. It's your athletics is just in the genetics. So. Yeah, just you, know, you just had to stay with it, you know. Jeez, straight up. So you uh you guys, the Rebels uh took uh took the L mm -hmm. uh against uh, South Alabama. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know who South Alabama was, bro. Like I'm thinking like South Alabama, like wouldn't it be Southern Alabama? I don't know, I didn't know who the Jaguars were. So I'm like, um but you guys took the L. Mm -hmm. However, uh, it's, it's the beginning of the season, so it's, it's really not a problem. Wednesday, uh, tomorrow, actually, you guys take on UC Riverside. Mm -hmm. What are you going to bring to the table? Uh, you know, uh, just a whole better effort, you know, than the first game. Uh, particularly, I feel like I played it. Played good, let my teammates down. So, you know, I'm going to pick that up. You know, me being a senior and a leader, I'm going to pick that up. Uh, you know, just be a whole lot better, more efficient, you know, on the offensive end. Uh, and defensive end, just picking up you know, and getting a win. That's the uh, most important. I feel like the way I play, as long as it's geared towards getting a win, that's the ultimate goal. So, I like that. anything I can do to make my team win, it's something to do. There you go. Um, and I saw the uh, well, I was I was watching the first half of the game um, on Friday, and I saw there was, there was like it was like uh, before before the free throws before before free throws were happening. You, uh, you, you came on with everybody together. I'm like, so you see the leadership is there. The leadership yeah. is definitely there. Um, yeah. So people see that and, uh, and salute to that. What would you leave uh, the Vegas uh, the Vegas people with? One thing. One thing. In terms of basketball, or just uh, anything, basketball, life, Uche, all around. Uh, one thing I leave Vegas with, you know, I just uh, make a make an impact in life. You know, whatever you do, like you know, when you're, when you're dying on earth, and you know, what's the, what's the impact that you had on people? And I feel like as long as you live a positive impact with people, and you know, that's the that's the way you're gonna live on through other people. You know? And I feel like you just gotta be a blessing in the concept, whoever you're with, even if you don't know nobody. Like words that you say. You know, the things that you could do could be the reason why you uplift another person, you know, so. I like that. There's always, like, there's always be an impact on a, on a great end. Yeah. yeah. Um, I just want to say, keep doing what you're doing, um, because you are going to, uh, you are going to spur other people to do the same thing. People yeah. follow um, when they see success, mm -hmm. um, and you are a great example of positive success. So keep doing what you're doing. Keep getting better. Um, keep, I know you're already a hard worker. Uh, keep going strong. Um, and I appreciate your time, brother. Appreciate it, man. You know, one more thing. Where can people follow you at? Oh, on Instagram, uh, Uche Suave, that's, <laughs> uh, that's U-C-H-E-S-U-A-V-E, -E. uh, that's Instagram and Twitter, uh, pretty much don't get on Facebook, you know, I thought that's better for the older heads, you know, but, yeah, uh, pretty much Instagram and Twitter, Uche Suave. Boom, just like that, Uche Suave, uh, AD is elevated, 98.5 KLUC, bang. Sure.